Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to calculate retained earnings. We'll show examples and we'll show how to calculate it and a definition and also the retained earnings statement. So let's get started. Hello, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn. We'll help you finally learn financial literacy. All right, so what is retained earnings? Retained earnings is the definition would be all previous profits for a company minus all previous dividends. So you can think of retained earnings as reinvested profits. So retained means you keep, you hold on to it, so that's reinvested. And earnings, another word for earnings would be profits. So reinvested profits, you might call it that. And it's profits that are not paid out as dividends. Now, where do retained earnings go? Retained earnings are on the equity section of the balance sheet. Now, here is the retained earnings uh, formula. We'll do it here in just a little bit. We have beginning retained earnings plus net income minus dividends will give us ending retained earnings. Now let's think about the balance sheet real quickly. As you know the balance sheet, the accounting equation is assets equals liabilities plus equity. So this is the balance sheet formula or the format. So let's just start with a simple little balance sheet. Let's say we have, let me get rid of some numbers here. We have a simple little balance sheet. Let's say we borrowed $15,000 and we invested $10,000. And so we have over here, uh, we have debt of 15,000. We have common stock of, of 10,000. So our liabilities and equity. What do we have? Let's say that we did this all in cash. We'd have 25,000 in cash. So we have total assets of 25,000. We have a liabilities of 15,000, we have common stock and total equity of 10,000. Okay, so after one year, let's say the Walker Company had revenues and costs and a gross profit, operating expenses, and then they end up with a net income of 9,000. How does that show up on the balance sheet? Remember, retained earnings shows up on the balance sheet under the equity section. So here's what we know. We already know let me go back and, and change these numbers just slightly. Our original number was 25,000, so cash. And so we had 15,000, we had 10,000. So here's what our original balance sheet looked like. But after we have one year of operations, we made $9,000. We paid no dividends, so retained earnings would, would increase by 9,000. And let's say that we have, um, we have different in the assets, and let's just to say our assets are 27,000, our accounts receivable would be 3,000, and our equipment we purchased 4,000. So what we have is we have total assets of 34,000, and we have total liabilities and equity of 34,000. Now, this 9,000, sometimes people think of this as like a piggy bank, 9,000, but they kind of think the problem with that analogy is it's not how much cash they have. They could have more cash or less cash. So this really is reinvested earnings or reinvested profits. And you see we reinvested in additional assets. So that's what retained earnings would look like on the balance sheet. So let's do a simple example. All right, let's assume we have here the Oxford Inc. And we have the first year of operations in 2021 we lost 30,000, we paid zero dividends, so what is our retained earnings? Well, it's gonna be negative, and if it's negative retained earnings, we call that accumulated deficit. So we're gonna take the 30,000 plus the zero, and we're sitting at negative 30,000. This would show up on the balance sheet under the equity section. Well, what about 2022? We lost a little bit less. We're still losing money, we're not paying dividends yet. So we take the beginning 30,000, which is negative, plus the negative 15, plus the zero, which is the dividends, and we have 45,000 is our accumulated deficit. We have not made a profit yet, so we have accumulated deficits. Well, in 2023, we made our first profit of 50,000. So we take the previous 45, plus the positive 50,000 in net income, plus the negative, uh, the zero, and there's no negative yet, um, zero dividends. So we're gonna have just a little bit of positive retained earnings. So the first two were accumulated deficit, and now we have in 2023, we have retained earnings. 
So let's keep going for the next two years. We made a $75,000 profit net income and we paid out $10,000 in dividends. So we start with the previous $5,000 plus $75,000 plus the negative $10,000, which is dividends. And so we're at $70,000. And we do that the last year, let's say we had $130,000 profit and our dividends are $25,000. So we'd end up with $70,000 is our beginning, plus we add the net income, plus we add the negative dividends. This is the same thing as subtracting out dividends. And so we're at $175,000. So let's look at what, what it would look like if we did this as a statement. So I just restated here for 2025, the beginning retained earnings of $70,000, the net income of one thirty, dollars and the dividends of $25,000. So we have beginning retained earnings, $70,000. Our net income is $130,000. Our dividends are going to be negative $25,000. And so we just need to add all this up. And we'll say, hey, our total ending retained earnings is going to be $175,000. So that's how we do retained earnings. The definition, the examples, and then all the way through the retained earnings statement. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.